The rainbow was a great miracle of the Lord, as a sign that he would never destroy the whole world because of our perpetual sin. How saddened he must be to see this sign of his love used as a flag to justify sin. With the rush of entrepreneurs being sued for not catering gay unions, I thought that I would put in my two cents. Since each of these people owns a business, and the goal of a business is to make a profit and nothing more, this would make no sense. The money given to you by one couple is just as legal of tender as from anybody else. Clearly, there must be some other reason as to why the money is not being accepted. Before I begin, I want to point out that the Christian tradition and teaching is to treat each and every person that you meet as the image and reflection of Christ. We are to treat others as he would treat us. That is, love the sinner, hate the sin. I want all of you to perform an experiment with me. It is a game that I call Spot the Bigot. Here is how you play. I'm going to tell you about a few entrepreneurs, and I want you to tell me which ones are the homophobic bigots. The first is a pair of bakers. Baker 1 will bake a cake for a birthday for a member of a gay couple. We'll bake a cake for a child of a gay couple's graduation but will not bake a wedding cake for a gay union. Baker 2 will not bake a cake for a birthday for a member of a gay couple, will not bake a cake for a gay couple's child's graduation, and will not bake a cake for a gay union. The second is a pair of florists. Florist 1 will make a bouquet for a gay couple's baby shower, will make an arrangement for a lesbian child's quinceanera, but will not provide flowers for a gay union. Florist 2 will not make a bouquet for a gay couple's baby shower, will not make an arrangement for a lesbian child's quinceanera, and will not provide flowers for a gay union. The third is a pair of photographers. Photographer 1 will photograph a gay couple's vacation, will photograph a gay couple's child's birthday, but will not photograph a gay union. Photographer 2 will not photograph a gay couple's vacation, will not photograph a gay couple's child's birthday, and will not photograph a gay union. The fourth is a pair of store clerks. Grocer 1 will sell eggs, milk, sugar, or frosting to a gay couple, will sell vases, roses, or daisies to a gay couple, and will sell film or camera to a gay couple. Grocer 2 will not sell eggs, milk, sugar, or frosting to a gay couple. Will not sell vases, roses, or daisies to a gay couple. And will not sell film or camera to a gay couple. No, since I know most of you are intelligent, you can clearly tell that there is an obvious pattern in these options. So the correct answers are the following. For the bakers, Baker 2. For the florists, florist 2. For the photographers, photographer 2. For the grocers, store clerk 2. Good, practicing Christians cannot participate in a gay union in any of these ways as they are assisting in sin. Now some of you may point out that you are not assisting in a sin. I had a friend in high school who was a self-proclaimed pacifist and he did not even believe in violence as a last-ditch resort. Now, I want you to imagine someone like that for a moment. Tell him that he is not going to fire the gun. He just has to either assemble the weapon, load it, pick the target, or aim. He does not fire the gun, so it is not violating his principles. I think that my friend might still be morally opposed. In the same way, each of these entrepreneurs is morally opposed to assisting in a gay union. If you stood before a judge and said that you did not fire the gun to shoot the victim of a homicide, 
but you merely assembled the weapon to be used to kill the victim. What do you think the judge would say? What would the judge of the universe say? The first entrepreneur in each example is loving the sinner and hating the sin. But the second entrepreneur in each example is being a hateful bigot. Would you force a Jew to bake a cake for a neo-Nazi? Or a black man to clean KKK robes? No. Are these both extreme examples? Yes. The point is that both are sins that the entrepreneur opposes and cannot be a part of. How about we just let people do their jobs? Because I am sure that there are essentially limitless options when it comes to your big day. I am sure that you can find someone who is willing to service your needs. We do not need a lawsuit happy culture. That is just my two cents. Go down to the comments section and let me know why I am wrong.